Well, in the past couple of days I've picked a great mass of field mushrooms. Uh, they always come <laughs> far too many. And uh, it's very difficult to know what to do with them because they don't keep at all. So I make soup with mine. And uh, I'll show you uh, basically what I do. And it freezes well, does this soup. And it's nice when you're barbell fishing on a cold winter's day. It's nice to take a flask of it with you. Very, very pleasant. Nice and warming. So first of all, I peel all the mushrooms. I don't wash them. You should never wash mushrooms. I just peel them and brush away any bits of grass or muck that are on them. And I break them up and put them into a pan. A big pan. There's about three pounds of mushrooms here. Smaller mushrooms I don't bother peeling, I just break them up and, uh, and put them in the pan. So little bits, little bits like that you get on the top there. I don't worry about that, as long as it's clean. Again, just break them up, put them in. So there's me, uh, my pan, with me, about three pounds of mushrooms in there. You can do this with ordinary shop bought mushrooms, you don't have to do it with <laughs> These mushrooms. The only reason I do it is because I've got this surplus of the things. I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, you can dry them. You can dry them in the airing cupboard and put them into stews and things. But yeah, they lose their uh, flavour and become quite tough. Whereas if you do this, you just end up with some nice soup in the freezer. Lovely. Right, and I now need three good-sized onions or. Maybe six if they're a bit smaller. Or roughly one big onion for every pound of mushroom. And I just simply top and tail them and then chop them up. Simple as that. One done. Well that's my mushrooms chopped. Three three big onions chopped up. And I'll deal with them in a minute. And we need some garlic. How much you put in <laughs> depends on how much you like it. In fact you don't have to put any in at all. And the easiest way of dealing with it is to uh, you can get a clove like that. Put the top off, put the bottom off, and just put your knife on top and belt it. And the the peel comes off dead easy. I quite like garlic, so I'm going to put half a dozen of these. Right, so, as I'm cooking a lot of this, I mean, if you've only got a pound of mushrooms, you just divide all the quantity by, by three. So 
so I've just melted about so I've just melted about that much butter in a pan I would imagine it's about what three ounces maybe and uh, Heat it gently so I don't burn it. You don't have to use butter, you can use oil, or you can use a mixture of both. But uh, I like butter on it, but yeah, it's bad for your cholesterol. So I need to fry the onions. So I put the onions in. And the garlic, which has to be crushed, so you need one of these fancy crushing jobs. You can use belt it, but these make it so much easier. You can, they're not warmy, expensive things, you can get them car boot sales. Supermarkets, very cheap. I don't want the onions to burn, I don't want them going brown. So I just leave them on a low heat. I put the lid on. And it'll take about I don't know, five five or six minutes um, for the onions to cook. They become a little bit soft. And then you can see the onions and garlic just about cooked. Now if you were just making, I will just use the pounder mushrooms, you'd do it all in this one pan. <laughs> but as I'm doing three pounds, they won't fit. So I'm going to take these onions here and put them in the pan where I'm going to end up cook in the soup, a much bigger pan. So to cook the mushrooms I put the rest of the butter in here and then I uh, put the mushrooms in and then when I add the flour the flour and the butter form what's called a roux um, which thickens the, uh, the soup and I'll do that now. Of, uh, three pounds of mushrooms. <clears throat> I've used half a pound of butter altogether, so the whole lot, the whole lot will go in uh, with the mushrooms. So I'll just put the lid on. They will sweat down eventually. Um, and again, on a low heat, just leave them to cook for a few minutes. So you can see there the mushrooms are well cooked. Now for every pound of mushrooms I've got to add two tablespoonfuls of just plain ordinary flour, just plain flour, not self-raising flour, plain flour. 
and you need that thickness of it, otherwise it's just terribly runny stuff. Uh, watery. Oh well, that much is one spoonful, just sprinkle it in. And one. For every pound you need two of these. That's why I need six. Now I just need to make sure the mushrooms, every mushroom is well coated. So I'll just give it a stir around. The mushrooms done, and I'll put them in the pan with the onions and garlic. The pan, which is big enough to hold everything. <laughs> 